Hi, my name is Anna White. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple jig to help you cut round tabletops with a circular saw. What you'll need for supplies is some quarter inch plywood or MDF, and it needs to be at least the radius of what you wanna cut plus about six inches. In addition, you'll need either a one by two or a scrap piece of plywood, something to be used as a straight edge, a brad nailer with some one inch brad nails, some glue and a tape measure. So what I'm gonna do is measure an inch and a half from this edge and make some marks. Then I'm gonna apply some glue to go ahead and glue this so that it's lined up with those inch and a half marks. Once that glue is kind of set up, we're gonna flip it over. And I made those marks on the ends so you can double check that it doesn't slide. You do kind of want this lined up well. And then, just gonna hit it with some of those brad nails. Okay, I lied, it was actually a stapler, but a brad nailer would work too. Okay, so it'll look like this, a masterpiece. So the next step is I wanna trim this outer edge to match the foot on my circular saw. So I'm going to just cut this off with the board clamped. Okay, so this is now cut. So this space here matches my circular saw and I've got a perfect guide to uh, run my circular saw blade down. So what I'm gonna do is flip it over. And I'm gonna measure, mark that center point. I'm gonna measure down from it, whatever the radius I want. So the tabletop that I'm working on right now is a 44 inch diameter. I'm gonna split that in half to a 22 inch radius. I'm just finding the center point this way. And then this mark is the radius of the tabletop. You can make additional marks. If you want a bigger table, you'd go this way. A smaller table, you'd go this way. And I'm just gonna drill a hole. And this hole actually matches the shaft on the screw that I'm gonna use later. This drill bit matches the shaft. Okay, so this is a, a tabletop that I've already prepared. If you're interested in how to do this, I've got a separate video and I'll link that in the description. But I found the center point here and I'm gonna take the screw. I'm just using a Craig Jig screw here. And then line it up that center point. And then tighten that down. Time to start cutting. So first I just cut off the excess. No need to be perfect here. Just trim it so it's a little easier to work with. Then I start using the jig just by rotating it and then cutting off the corner pieces. A couple things I do want to say here is it would benefit you to use a wider jig than I have here, maybe like a 12 or 16 inch because I was having to hold open the circular side guide as I was doing this. The other thing would be to plan out pocket holes so you don't end up cutting into them. You just keep rotating and cutting until it is a circle and there's no excess left to cut off when you rotate the jig. Well, here's the finished tabletop. It turned out pretty good. I love the really nice straight edges. You could never get that with a jigsaw. Um, of course you could use other tools, but trying to make this simple where you don't need a lot of tools to cut a nice circle. Here's another the one that we did a while back. We're actually refinishing it and I just wanted to show you how well it's held up. Real quick before we go, make sure you take a second to subscribe check out anna-white.com for lots of plans for different round table bases, as well as the plan for the octagon um, apron that goes under these round tabletops. We'll see you in the next video.